Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the DTFT of the unit step sequence. It is given the signal y of n equal to u of n, where u of n is equal to 1, the values of n equal to 0, 1, 2, and so on, and 0 elsewhere. So given this unit step sequence, we want to find the DTFT, that is y of e power j omega of u of n. So we want to find the DTFT y of e power j omega. For this problem, we are going to use the accumulation property of DTFT, which is defined as follows. For a sequence y of n, defined as summation m equal to minus infinity to n x of m. So for a signal or a sequence that is defined as this summation and given that x of e power j omega is the DTFT of x of n. So given the DTFT of x of n as x of e power j omega, then the DTFT of the sum y of n is given by DTFT of the sum y of n is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus j omega multiplied by the original DTFT that is x of e power j omega plus phi times x of e power j 0 that is omega is replaced by 0 that is the value of the DTFT of x of n at omega equal to 0 and then multiplied by the following sum summation k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity delta of omega minus 2 pi k. So this is the formula for the DTFT of a signal or sequence y of n which is defined as a sum. So clearly for y of n equal to u of n the corresponding x of n is equal to delta of n because u of n can be written as the sum m equal to minus infinity to n delta of m because delta of m is 0 for all m's except for m equal to 0. So u of n can be written as a summation of delta of m's or deltas of m. Therefore y of n can be replaced by the summation of x of m's and thus we can use the formula corresponding to the accumulation property. So now using this property we know that x of e power j omega is given by that is x of e power j omega is the DTFT of delta of n which is x of n which is clearly equal to 1 that is our x of e power j omega is 1. So now we can write the formula for y of e power j omega that is the DTFT of the signal y of n that is the unit step sequence is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus j omega that is the first term in this sum and then the DTFT of x of n that is our delta of n is 1 so we have 1 plus pi times pi times x of e power j omega which is again 1 and the final term is the summation of unit impulses that is summation k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity delta of omega minus 2 pi k and for omega in the interval minus pi comma plus pi y of e power j omega should be equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus j omega plus pi into and this summation for omega in this interval that is minus pi to plus pi this summation should be replaced by delta of omega because this summation corresponds to the values of omega from minus infinity to plus infinity but we only need the DTFT for the interval minus pi to plus pi. So, so finally the DTFT of unit step sequence is given by y of e power j omega e equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus j omega plus pi times delta omega. Thanks for watching.